Let's step way back in time to March 12, 1888. It was a year when men cleared snow off the streets wearing top coats and top hats, when snowblowers didn't exist, when shoveling by hand and horse-drawn cart was your only option. The blizzard of 1888 is generally considered to be the worst storm of its kind to hit the Northeast in recorded history. Springtime was right around the corner. The temperature here in Hempstead and across the island was 50 degrees with a forecast of light rain. But as the load moved northward, it tapped into some cold air and intensified dramatically and down went the temperature, the rain went to snow and the result was an incredible blizzard. This is Main Street in Hempstead today and the same street more than 130 years ago after heavy snow hammered the area for 72 hours. According to the National Weather Service, some areas in the Northeast got 50 inches of snow with drifts up to 50 feet high. Hundreds of people died. Public transportation was paralyzed. As we went down on the train, it began snowing and getting colder by the minute. Theodorus Van Wyck from Valley Stream was president of a group called the Blizzard Men of 1888. They collected eyewitness accounts from people who survived the deadly blizzard. Here's what he remembers about traveling by train from Mount Vernon, getting stuck, and then walking home. It was a bitter experience all day long. Two of us trudged through the snow and the snowbanks along the track, leaving several stalled trains on the way filled with anxious passengers who were without food and even warmth in the cars. Telegraph poles were down and fell across the tracks. Meteorologists refer to the blizzard of 1888 as a once in a 500 year storm. I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.